If your Fortnite game is stuck on checking for updated screen like this, then in this tutorial, I will guide you on how to resolve this issue. And in most cases, this problem occurs on PS5. So whether you get this on PS5 or just any other console or PC, then follow these instructions very carefully. And I'll start the fix for PS5. Now, fix this by clearing the cage on your PS5. The way I fixed this issue is by clearing the cage on the PS5. Did this by putting the PS5 in safe mode first. So start by putting your PS5 in safe mode by holding the power button until you hear two beeps to shut down. Then hold the power button again until you hear the second beep then connect your controller with the USB code, then select the option to clear cache, then you'll be able to resolve this issue. Now, maybe if you've done so, but you're still facing again the same problem, luckily Epic Games have provided a step-by-step -step guide on how to fix this issue for stuck on checking for updates. As you can see here, why am I stuck at the checking of updates screen when launching Fortnite on PlayStation? Now, you can follow these instructions step-by-step. -step. Now, start by checking the Epic Games server status. Now, I'll provide this link on the description as well on the comment section for this video. If you click on that link, it will take you to this section here so that you can follow the instructions carefully. Now, check for Epic Games server status. This link will take you to Epic Games server status, which is status.epicgames.com. Now, check if Fortnite servers are down. As you can see right now, they are in operational. But when they are down for Fortnite, in most cases, you'll also be facing a lot of issues and you'll be stacking on checking for updates. Now, another thing you need to do is reset your modem or router. So, you can try to reset your modem or router by restarting it. Another thing you need to try is check for communication settings. First, close your Fortnite game then restore a license on your PlayStation. For PS4 to restore a license, just select settings, and then select account management, select restore licenses, and click restore. For PS5, go to your settings, select user and accounts, then select other, then select restore license, and click restore. Now for restoring your license, after that, look for network under PlayStation settings, go to set up internet connection, select Wi-Fi or LAN, depending on what you use to connect LAN or wired connection is highly recommended. So. Set up your internet connection, select Wi-Fi or LAN. After that, select custom or advanced settings. If you are on Wi-Fi, you'll need to select the network you enter its password. Make sure the following settings are set with these selections. IP address settings, select automatic. DHCP host name, do not use. So DHCP host name, do not use. DNS settings, select to manual. Enter the following IP addresses on your DNS settings with primary DNS, which is this one, and secondary DNS, which is this one. Now, this is Google DNS, which is public. So primary DNS, select 8888. Secondary DNS, select 8844. Select next. Make sure the following settings are set with the selections. MTU settings, which is manual, add 1,500, and then select OK, restart your PlayStation, and I hope this problem will be resolved. So this page will be available on the description to help you fix this issue for Fortnite stack on checking for updated screen. But if you're on PS5, the quick fix, just clear the cage on PS5. Start by putting your PS5 first in safe mode, and then select your controller, and then clear the cage on your PS5. So I hope you'll be able to resolve this issue. Let me know in the comment section if this tutorial has helped you. Thanks so much for watching this video and see you next time.